episode 25 should be renamed Christie's Pity Party because we literally spent the 40 something minutes I'm taking out all the commercials because the commercials add up to an hour of the episode focused on Christy and her emotions and her sadness and how she's so upset she's up against her friend and how she doesn't understand why Mickey is doing this and she feels like everyone is against her. Welcome to Big Brother, finally. Big Brother is not the time to make best friends. Big Brother is not the time to be looking at boyfriends and tans and stuff it is a game and the game starts the moment that the players walk into the house even if some players like they did in this season don't want to talk game don't want to talk game with certain people target people for personal reasons think that their whole side is going to make it to the end while the other side does not it's a game i really I'm over saying I don't get why she acts the way that she does because I do get it. She feels entitled to seeing her dream come to fruition. But what about the dreams of the other nominees, previous nominees and evictees whose dreams are going up in smoke all because of the six shooters, undeniable and uh, grateful. I cannot feel empathy for somebody who walked around for the past three weeks, like Jackson said in the episode, like they had it like that. Like, nothing's going to touch me. I'm going to manifest this, and I'm going to do this and do that. And, and you know, I have the universe on my side. I have God on my side and all this stuff. Again, it's a game. That's all it is, is a game. It's nothing personal. And this season was made personal by that giant alliance because... In reality, it's not supposed to be personal. That's all I have to say about that. Hey guys, I'm Sage Valentine, and welcome to my recap slash review of CBS's Big Brother, season 21, episode number 25. Now, today I wrote all my notes on my notebook because I literally ran out of pages of my yellow pad <laughs> notebooks. I'll probably have them tomorrow, but for today... My notes are in this five-star notebook here. So pretty much, as we already know, Jackson is the HOH, and he nominated Christy and Sis. Jackson said that Christy is the biggest threat. She has a great social game, and she's a mental animal. Sis is pretty much the backup, the pawn. And then we get to Sis's little, like, segment where she's speaking in her diary room confessional, and she's just like, you know, I'm pissed off. It sucks to be nominated next to Christy. But then everybody else thought it was horrible to be nominated next to their friends, and you guys didn't seem to care, so. This week, is the word is karma. Karma. Big Brother style. So Christy said that she's going to win this veto. That's it. It's done. And Sis tells Christy to fight for the veto because Sis is just like, at one point in the episode, well, you know, I'm well-liked, so Christy should be the one fighting for her life. Side note, I was watching the feeds today, and uh, it appears that there might be a flip in the votes. Things seem to change every hour, but today the word is flip. So Sis may be sent to the jury house with Kat and... Jack and I mean Jack might be happy because he has something to play with but I don't think that Kat will be happy for sis to be there and sis is not going to be happy because she seems like she is comfortable in the game and she doesn't want to leave again this is big brother expect the unexpected so Holly claims that because she walks into the room and it's like Christy sis and Tommy and it's an extremely awkward situation when she walks in because they were literally talking about her. And she claims that she didn't know how the nominations were going to go. I mean, I wouldn't have believed her if she said that to me. And I knew that she and Jackson were like this thick as thieves. So I don't think I would have believed her either. Sis and Christy, once Holly leaves, say that they don't believe her and they call her fake. But she was in your alliance not too long ago and... Last time I checked, pretty much everybody in the six shooters was pretty fake anyway, but I digress. 
So, Sis basically has a great social game. Now, this is when she says that she was like, or is well liked by everyone. She says she has a great social game and she's liked and she has the votes to stay. Well, she thought that way, but if they flip those votes, she's heading to the jury house. So, pretty much the majority of the episode is spent on Sis and Christy having a pity party. Although Big Brother didn't show the parts where Sis and Christy were crying to America through the live feed cameras and begging us to give them some sort of power as if that's going to work. As if Big Brother would even allow that. We already showed them how we felt, so I mean, if somebody shows you how they are, believe them. We don't like either of them. We definitely don't like Jackson either. So Tommy decides to go upstairs and clear the air with, or talk to Jackson and talk game with him. Because Tommy's like, listen, Sis and Christy are my buddies, but I need to cultivate my own game. And he's just like, I haven't been disloyal to Holly and Jackson, so I'm good. So Jackson tells Tommy that if Sis comes down off the block, pretty much Tommy is going up on the block. Or does he tell us that? He might tell her. I think he tells us that. I don't think he told Tommy that. But anyway, that's how it was at that point, although Nicole's name was kind of thrown around in different conversations as well. That's what I was reading when I was what reading um, social media. Um, Jackson says he won't cower to Christy, and right now is the time that he and Holly need to fight for their lives. He's talking to Holly when he says this. Jessica hopes that Christy will get herself off the block because if she does, then Jessica will continue to have an ally in the house. Christy's not Jessica's ally at all. Christy's basically using Jessica, and Jessica's name has been popping up as a possible nominee in an upcoming double eviction. But like Jessica says, she doesn't know much. I mean, I don't know how somebody goes from not knowing something to having, like, a great HOH week to going back to not knowing something. That's why I feel like this is a part of her gameplay in some way, shape, or form. I would like to hope that she's not as clueless as she tries to make herself seem. So, Kat is talking to Christy, because this is one of Christy's, like, flashback memories, and she tells us in the diary room how Kat told Christy that Nick, Holly, and Jackson were working together. So then Christy is worried, and I think she's talking to Sis and Tommy, and she says, Nick is a wild card, and I'm paraphrasing, of course. She wonders, is he playing them? Can he be trusted? No, he can't. But I think, in fact, you know, maybe Christy was talking to us. Because sometimes I get confused when they're talking, and I'm just like, when I'm writing the notes, I really need to write down, like, diary room, other people but yeah Christy still said that she's not too keen on Nick now Nick is talking to sis and sis asks him like listen if you win the veto are you gonna use it to save me and he's just like yeah I'm gonna use it to save you so then sis goes to in fact I take back what I said <laughs> once again taking things back Christy was talking to sis and Tommy but sis went off to talk to or maybe she was just talking to sis and sis went off to talk to Nick and Nick said he'd use the veto and then Christy's asking Sis, how does she feel about trusting Nick? Tommy's in the room, and then Nick all of a sudden comes in, and that was the end of that conversation. And Christy asks him, you know, can we trust you? And Nick is kind of being very straightforward. He's like, listen, if I win this veto, I'm going to save Sis. Christy didn't like that. Christy calls him sketchy. Because he said he was going to save Sis. Keep that in mind. He's only sketchy because he said he was going to save Sis. Not that he's sketchy in general because he kind of is sketchy in general. No, 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 no. He's not willing to save her. He's willing to save Sis. And I'm like, I don't see how that's sketchy. He's pretty straightforward. He's telling you exactly what he's going to do. So I don't get it. So then it comes time to pick players for the veto competition. Jackson chooses Cliff. Christy chooses Nick. 
Sis chooses Holly and pretty much Christy and Sis are both upset because they both chose somebody they did not want to play in the veto with. And Christy knows that she's going to win the veto and she tells Tommy that Nick is working with Jackson. So Tommy, once again stirring the pot, runs to Nick and asks him about it. And it's pretty funny though. Before he did that, how in his diary room um, confession, Tommy's like, you see, this mistrust is the reason why Christy and Sis are in this predicament. Yeah, it is. But then they haven't trusted this alliance from day one, because if they did, they'd be on solid ground. I don't think I've ever seen players become this shaky shady about an alliance from day one and then continue on being shaky shady with the alliance considering that there are how many outsiders left like three if you count nick maybe four usually they become shaky shady when they're the full majority and there's like one person on the other side but no not this year so anyway tommy went to ask nick about working with jackson nick is like he's done with being questioned he's been very straightforward so he goes into the room with sis and christy and he's just like, I'm being straightforward. I haven't lied to you. I already told you. I'm just going to save sis if I win the veto. That's it. He's been super honest and transparent. Once again, Tommy stirred the pot. And that, in my opinion, is a pretty good strategy in this game because people really don't see how Tommy is stirring the pot. So Tommy is on solid ground at this point. And honestly, I believe that, like, Nicole's name keeps coming up as, like, a possible second nominee to get out of the house only because Tommy is smooth sailing at this point and Nicole's kind of chilling on this side and you can only have, like, one player that's like that in the house. So Tommy wants Nicole going so he can continue to kind of smooth sail on top of the fact that Nicole is with the Outsiders. So, Christy is upset and says that everyone is fake and she starts crying. Again, welcome to Big Brother because this is how people really are. Everybody wants that money and anybody who says anything different, and I'm talking about Cliff too because Cliff keeps running around on the feeds talking about, I don't care if I get like number five and you win. Basically acting like, you know, he's the kindly older man and if you could just kind of nudge me towards final five i'll be okay with being number five i wouldn't believe a word that cliff is saying on a side note because cliff is there to play for the money he's there to win the money i don't believe a word he's saying anymore so it is what it is we get to the veto competition and it's called coral grief jackson won the golden power of veto he still wants to send christy out of the house sis is pissed about this about the fact that he won the veto and everything. Christy is disappointed, but she says she will not give up. Jackson's just like, life is good. I got all the power. It's all good. So then Big Brother has this mini segment of Holly and Tommy having fun with Nicole, doing this whole Baywatch promo thing. I think Jessica was the one who said, well, you guys need to run slow motion like you're doing Baywatch because they both had on like red outfits with little shorts. Well, Christy was none too happy about that. She stormed out of the kitchen. She ran to sis, and she was mad because Tommy was laughing and having fun. So all of a sudden, you can't laugh and have fun like he's supposed to be depressed because you're depressed. Christy really feels like she's one of those people who they would call a Debbie Downer, but really she's one of those people who, if she's got negative energy... Everybody else has to have that negative energy, and if she's feeling sad, everybody else has to feel sad. No one can be happy but her. It's an extremely toxic way of being in the real world and in the Big Brother house. And eventually, these house guests are going to get tired of that, which is why this week is a good week for them to get her out. But according to the feeds, it looks like they're going to flip and they're going to keep her, and that is the biggest mistake in my opinion, at this point in the game. Even though for some people it's like amazing because it'll be entertaining, but really I want to see more gameplay than entertainment. Because without Christy, things would spiral around. You wouldn't know where anybody was. But I guess people want to continue to see Christy melt down and cry and so on and so forth. I personally do not enjoy it. Christy's just like, you know, if... Tommy was in this situation, she wouldn't be rejoicing. And I'm just like, you probably would. 
I don't believe that she wouldn't. I feel like she just wants a pity party. She wants everybody to feel bad and no one to have joy except if she has joy. Only if she has joy. That's when you can have joy. And I'm just like, honestly, chill out. It's just a game. Relax. I know you're upset, but everybody's not going to feel the same way you feel. Just because there's a dark cloud over your head, that doesn't mean there's going to be a huge storm around everybody else. You may be that one house on the street that has the dark cloud over it while everybody else has sunshine. It is what it is. That's life. The whole Christy segment, honestly, was extremely annoying. But then again, she's annoying on the feeds as well, in my opinion. So it is what it is. Tommy's like, I can't waste my time, you know, and my dream because you ruin yours. He's saying that in his diary room um, confessional about Christy. He said that, like, Christy ruined her dream, so why the hell should he ruin his? And I agree with him. Christy doesn't feel like she has a friend, and she didn't expect to feel alone in this house along with Tommy. Just like, welcome to Big Brother. Rarely... Do you have players who are willing to stick their neck out for other players? That's why when you find a player in that game that's willing to basically tank their game in the name of friendship, that person is solid gold in my opinion as a person. Game-wise, it's kind of foolish, but they're solid gold as a person in my opinion. I don't know how you guys feel. Leave me some comments below. So Christy's like she needs to come up with a good plan and she has faith that she's going to stay in the house this week. So Christy goes to Holly and Jackson and talks about how she's going to protect them if she remains in the game. And she really wants to reunite the alliance together. It's kind of late now considering Jackson really doesn't want to get back into that alliance. And on the feeds it seems like he wants to. But I don't believe that. I feel like this is an angle. And if he wins HOH again, it's going to be trouble for Christy again if she remains. So, I mean, I feel like he and Holly are going through the motions after everything I saw on the feeds today. But I could be wrong. And if I'm wrong, I'll admit it in my review for episode number 26. But anyway... Holly becomes emotional while Christy is talking. And I'm just like, Holly, you are definitely piling it on. And the Oscar goes to Jackson's just chilling, but then he's looking at her like she's really pulling, putting on. She's really doing good. <laughs> I was laughing. And Jackson's just like real with Christy. He's like, listen, you're in between me and the $500,000 check. So you're a huge threat. You got to go. And he doesn't want to change his mind and he's not going to. That's why I feel like despite the fact that there's a conversation being had, Right now in the feeds, hold on. <coughs> oh man, I sneezed, of course. Of course I sneezed right in my hands. Sorry about that, guys. Despite the fact that there's a conversation going on, I feel like he's going through the motions. And I feel like if it came down to a tie, he would get rid of Christy. Because that's what he wanted. I feel like Jackson has a one-track mind. I hope he does. If not, then Christy stays, then he and... Holly will be a target, or Nick and Sis will be targets. Christy could do anything if she stays in the game. That's why I don't believe a word that comes out of her mouth. So, get down to the veto ceremony. Jackson obviously chose not to use the veto, because why would he? And he decides that he has to follow through with his decision to evict Christy. Tommy's like, this sucks, but he may have to let go of his final two dream with Christy. Christy would love to stay and build her army. She was very emotional during her confessional diary room scene. And Christy would like to stay and build her army. Cliff was just like, it is out of his own control. He will have to rally up the votes and send Christy out. As I said already... Right now, it seems like they're going to flip, but then something could happen at midnight and they'll flip back. I don't know and probably won't know until from 5 o'clock to 7 o'clock tomorrow when I watch the feeds. But even then, as we've seen in the past couple weeks, even that doesn't prove anything. So really, I'll have to wait until I watch the episode tomorrow night.
But thank you guys so much for watching this review. I apologize for sneezing and everything. I don't know what happened with that. But um, I will see you guys tomorrow. I'll be here to review episode number 26. I believe that's number 26. And I will be back on Sunday to review episode number 27. And I will be live on TV Co. on Tuesday to talk all about what happened on the feeds this weekend. Because I will definitely be watching. I've been busy for the past couple days. Last night I went to the... Power Star Season 6 premiered, so Big Brother was out. So I paid attention to what was happening on the feeds today, and I read up and caught up on everything. But for the most part, it seems like Christy might be safe, but then you never know. I'll talk to you guys later. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you thought of tonight's episode. Love you all. Take care. Bye, guys. Love you all. Bye. <laughs>